Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Pro. In this video, we'll learn how to implement serial data flow in LabVIEW. Let's create a simple code with a for loop that will produce the random number and generate an array. So add and see for instance. And then we'll use the random number with build array. We can also use directly using the indexing as well. In this case, we're using the build array vi. So this will create an array. Now let's add an array indicator. The next option is we do not want the array to be filled in the beginning. So what we are doing is we are using the local variable to initialize the default values of an array indicator. In this in this diagram, the both of the code are not connected in any way. So either of the code can run either before or after the code is being run. In this diagram, we cannot predict the data flow method. The initialize array can run before the for loop or for loop can execute before the before the local variable. So now what we will do is we are going to course the data flow so that the initialization part of the code will run, always run before the for loop. So we'll use a simple sequence structure and use the error cluster var to course the data flow. In this case, the code into the left will always run before the code onto the right. So this ensures the serial data flow method. Now there is much more cleaner method to do this. Rather than using a sequence structure only for that one, what we can do is we can insert all the codes inside the sequence structure. Go to the structures palette, select the flat sequence, and we can do the add sequence after frame, and then drag that inside our one diagram, and clean the diagram. This means the left frame will always execute before the previous, before the subsequent frames. As you can see, this diagram will always run from left to right using the serial data flow pattern. Now it will run. As you can see, the code on the first frame will execute first and then the second frame. And then finally the third frame. 